when I went back to Nigeria, I was thinking that, you know, I would be among my kind of people and all that. But this is just like, I'm not trying to take it towards, it's very sensitive, but they, they call me white there. Okay, because my skin is a little bit light skin. So uh, when I went back, I joined the school there and people would be calling me Baba Pupa. Like Pupa means like the, the white guy. And I was like, what the, what the hell? Like seriously, I'm in Pakistan, they call me black. I'm here, they call me white. And, and then my accent was a little bit different. So uh, I didn't quite like my accent, but my Nigerian accent isn't very strong. So... They like they obviously they accept you, but you know that like, that fun attitude to like being fun. But what I'm trying to say is that I can fit anywhere. But over here in Pakistan, uh, being the different person has brought up a certain kind of confidence in me. Like I could go to any place right now, and I don't care what you look like, what reputation you are. I have that. Uh, edge that confidence I've built inside myself that no matter like what color what profession you are I'll always I won't be nervous so although I am a little mm. bit scared even till today I I go to a new place I'm I'm always looking here and there but then again I slap myself and I say like get yourself together and bring that confidence up so then I'm starting working like this not really I mean like <laughs> I start working you know from the inside the yeah yeah that's mindset thing isn't that so interesting that uh that's that's our experience in america is exactly what he's describing as a black person Mm. in pakistan which is like we have this term which actually abdullah will probably be familiar with as well which is and it's like when you're when you're in america and you know uh yeah of course we have to be like the tigers right as immigrants Mm -hmm. generally you have to excel more than the average person you have to be smarter than them quicker than them you have to you know exceed your your parents expectations even but Mm -hmm. sometimes when you go to uh you know college or you go to a workplace where you see someone that looks like you it's like and it's like you know you found your people and regardless of whether you know obviously we grew up in america and we have uh, our, our, a lot of our best friends are, you know, white and black and whatever, a bunch of Americans. But also there is at the same time that sort of sense of home that you are also describing of like, you know, when you see somebody who is Nigerian, maybe it's just like they know exactly, you know, what you are going through and what you're feeling and things like that. So mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. of course, it's 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 just a natural sort of thing when you have and it's a it's a great thing to have. A sense of yeah. belonging to multiple cultures and multiple homes like that and also similar mm-hmm. to what he said about like us being here it's like you know oh like you're the pakistani but in america you're the american uh, uh, you're the american mm-hmm. so like yeah. mm-hmm. it's funny that you say that when you go back to nigeria you're like the white guy and then they call us white when we yeah. go to pakistan yeah. <laughs> <laughs>